it's Car Kicks. Classics, custom sports cars and trucks, plus news, great places to go, and products you'll love at carkicks.com. That's K-A-R-K-I-X.com. Now, here's the host of Car Kicks, Bob Lang. You know, Christmas is just around the corner, and many of you have been wondering what a car guy like me would like to get from his adoring posse as a yuletide expression of love. Thank you for the bunt cakes last year, by the way. But this year, I'm kind of hoping for the $390,000 2012 Ferrari FF that is actually one of the more frugal gifts in the fantasy section of the 2011 Neiman Marcus Christmas book. No, no, not the $420,000 International Flower Show Tour or the $1 million Dancing Fountains. That would just be over the top. The FF will do just fine. I like shooting brakes, or sport wagons, whatever you call them here. They're very practical. I know it's tight this year, so maybe just the $250,000 Hackercraft speedboat. I mean, it's the thought that counts. But the special Ferrari FFs get a numbered interior plaque and a unique gray exterior. And you get to drive in the 2012 Ferrari winter driving experience in Aspen, Colorado. The FF is powered by a 651 horsepower V12 engine with a 7-speed dual clutch and a top speed over 200. One vehicle per customer, please. Last year's Neiman Marcus Christmas book car was the Camaro SS Convertible, priced at $75,000. All 100 units sold out in just three minutes last fall. Neiman Marcus will only sell 10 of the custom Ferrari FFs starting at noon Eastern, October 27th, so it's not too early to make plans to get that order in. It's called the Driver Acceptance Clinic, hosted by the U.S. DOT, on your dime. Known as connected vehicles, drivers are invited to test cars equipped with these wireless communication systems in a controlled environment. Walt Disney Speedway, where the researchers observe drivers' responses to such in-car collision warnings as do not pass, or warnings that a vehicle ahead has stopped suddenly, or other similar safety messages. Sounds non-threatening enough, but wait, there's more. Transportation will use the data collected to make a decision in 2013 on whether to insist on mandatory deployment of the technology or just voluntary installation in new cars, and whether there will be significant backlash on the part of the buying public to such safety features. What they're trying to do is prevent the kind of crashes that typically occur in the real world, such as crashes at intersections or while switching lanes, by being a backseat driver with some degree of accuracy. Won't that be fun? Thanks, Department of Transportation. By the way, I've got a couple of thousand bridges that need repair. Car Kicks will be right back. Are you in an automotive-related industry? If you'd like to advertise on Car Kicks, we offer social media, web, and on-air opportunities to automotive-based businesses that want to be heard by this very special audience. People who take action and get things done. Auto enthusiasts with the means to use products and services provided by quality companies. We have special programming that gives you the opportunity to get your message out with more than just a 60-second ad. To find out more, use the contact page at carkicks.com. It's hip. It's the Car Kicks Car Cap, a great ball cap for just $10. You can be a part of the ruling elite with your Car Kicks Car Cap. Stop being laughed at by your mom. Get the hat. Just 10 bucks plus tax and handling, and an agent of a semi-governmental agency will deliver it to wherever you get your U.S. mail. Get the Car Kicks Car Cap today at carkicks.com. And now. Another episode in the continuing drama of Saab Automobile. Saab, currently in bankruptcy with all of its operations idled, manages another reprieve from the governor. Yo. Saab Automobile expects to receive an immediate cash infusion of $70 million from North Street Capital, a Connecticut-based private equity firm, which late in September announced a deal to acquire Spiker cars from Saab's corporate parent, Swedish Automobile. You follow? Saab said it turned to North Street because it has doubts that it would receive funds promised by Peng Da and Youngman in time to complete the Swedish firm's court-supervised bankruptcy reorganization. On its website, Saab said North Street paid $10 million for 2.3 million shares of Swedish Automobile, also known as Swan. North Street will also put up another $60 million, with the automaker putting up unspecified assets. I just wonder what they could possibly have left to pawn. These moves underscore the urgency of receiving a cash infusion to continue the reorganization process of Saab Automobile. It seems Saab has managed to dodge yet another bullet. Will the cash infusion save the Saab mark from the dustbin of time? Tune in next time for the continuing saga of Saab. That's all for now. See you right here next time with more Car Kicks. Join us on the web at carkicks.com. That's K-A-R-K-I-X dot com. Bye-bye.